Hi, it's Megan Bayless, the 2011 Queen of Green, here to talk some garbage again. It's a week until Christmas and I haven't finished making all of my Christmas presents. So I thought I'd share with you one very quick and easy and absolutely drop-dead gorgeous craft that I love. It's making these gorgeous bowls, look at them. Absolutely beautiful. Can you guess what it's made from? That's right, this one's made from junk mail. But today I'm going to begin one made from some magazines that I've picked up from Coles and Bilo. Just these magazines, they're free at the counter and I wouldn't normally have taken them, but the checkout chick just gave them to me. So I gratefully accepted, knowing that they would come in handy for a magazine craft project. And here it is. So today I'm starting this project. What you do is open to the middle of your magazine and take out the middle section so that you get the longest piece that you possibly can. So there it is, that's just the folded middle page. Now I'm going to show you how to fold it. All this bowl is, is folding, joining and coiling. So it's very, very easy. So working with your piece down in front of you, fold it in half. So let's just measure it here. Make a good crease on it. The better your creases, the better it is at the final product. So a nice crease down the middle. And now we're going to bring either edge in to meet the middle. But don't come right onto the middle. Just leave it a millimetre or two off. So we'll do one edge first. There we go. Fold it down. Turn it around and do exactly the same thing to the other edge. There we go. And now we're going to do it one more time. So let's bring this one into that edge, to the middle edge that we've created. There we go, that's that one. Turn it around again and do the same thing to the other side. There it is. Very nice. Now, the better you can get your folds at this stage of the project, the nicer your bowl is going to sit when it's all coiled together. We need to do it one more time. So there's going to be three inward folds on your project. So that's that side. And do it to the other side. Turn it around. Do the same thing here. Very beautiful. Make sure that you fold it down well. So now from that big piece of paper, we have a piece this size that we can fold in the middle because it's already creased. And that's exactly what we now need to do because we need pieces that are going to look like this. Now, before you fold it into the middle, grab yourself some glue. This is the only time that I use PVA straight, not watered down. And I run a line of PVA glue just along the middle fold or the edges of the, of the folds on either side. Now I need to fold along that middle fold and this is where I like to help myself here. Some of the glue will come out and that's absolutely okay, it doesn't matter. It washes off the table very, very easily. PVA is non-toxic and water soluble. So I use PVA all the time, get it everywhere and just clean it off. And there we go. There's a fold. So there you are. That's it. That's the first fold for you now. And you need to continue doing it. I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six that I made earlier. That's now seven. And I will keep going until I've finished these magazines. I'll come back and show you when they're done. I've now folded all of the two magazines and I've ended up with around about 39 different folds. It's time to start joining them together so that we can coil them to make the bowl. So I usually work with three pieces joined together. So here's three here, but now I'll show you how to do it. It's very easy. Now for every end, you are going to have a neat end and then the other end that is folded together. The neat end is going to be the top of your bowl. So you're going to join 
neat end to neat end, folded end to folded end. So simply take one of your folds, work out which is your neat end and which is your folded end, and then take a piece of sticky tape. I have some stuck to the table here, but you might like to use yours on a dispenser. And join them. Simply put them end to end and join them. Very, very easy. Very simple. Except that my sticky tape is now getting everywhere. Here we go. Let's join them. Got the sticky tape all the way around. Flatten it out. And there you go. You have a joined piece. Now let's begin coiling. So choosing one end, and remember that you have a folded end and you have a neat end. The neat end is always going to be the top of your bowl. So you simply begin at one end and begin to coil. It's that easy. So here I am rolling it up. It's like a big snake in my hands. So rolling, rolling. Roll it as tight as you can. It doesn't have to be glued at this stage, you're just rolling and you're going to continue sticky taping all of your pieces end to end and rolling until you have a coiled disc that's large enough to shape into your bowl. So I'm going to turn off now and finish doing this but I will be coming back to show you what the finished product is like. There's the first coil. Slides out. I don't know if you can see that, to begin to form a bowl shape very, very gently because if you do it too quickly, you'll end up with discs that are going everywhere. Now here I've just put a kitchen bowl and I'm going to just gently put this into the kitchen bowl and try and shape from here. I'm not very good at guessing things sometimes so I need a little bit of help to make sure that I've got the, the shape correct. So here we go, just very, very gently. And there you just keep doing this until you've absolutely got the shape and the depth that you require. This is looking beautiful. Look at that smorgasbord of colours. And this has cost me nothing. It was free magazine, so it's an absolutely amazing craft. So you keep going until you've got it all nicely shaped. And then all you do to seal it and to keep it in place is that you paint it with a finish. On this one, which is used only as a demonstration, I've used PVA and water, a 50-50 mix, and I've painted it on both sides, but I can't put it into the water to wash it, and if I begin to wipe the dust off it with too many wet cloths, the glue is eventually going to come off. For this one, I'm going to go to the environmental shop, and I'm going to buy an environmentally friendly finish. I want this to be hard and I want my daughter to be able to throw her keys and her coins in it when she comes home. It will sit on her bench and it will be hard, won't get damaged, she can throw everything into it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do in this last week leading up to Christmas. Bye for now and just remember, continue talking garbage.